My name is Dennis Pabongi, and uh, I'm the son of Samson and Florence. Uh, Samson is the descendant of the Wallow tribe uh, from North Malaita in the Solomon Islands. And my first three collections of my of his history, my father's history, is of him telling and relating to us his father's story, my grandfather's story. He begins by telling us that one day my grandfather, as a 16-year-old, was swimming in the harbour at Betihama in North Malaita, and he noticed a large ship pulling in and anchoring in the harbour. And shortly after, the, the people on the boats invited him on, onto the ship, onto the boat, to go in and have a party. So he got up on the deck, and once he was on deck, they invited him to go below deck. And when he was down there, they shut, closed the uh, trap doors, and he was underneath, and they kept on filling the boats, and then he was kidnapped to Queensland. He was forced to work on many and varied plantations, and then he was housed in the, uh, the sheds or quarters that were provided by the plantation owners. And uh, but because of the strange environment and harsh conditions, uh, many of his peers had, had died in that situation while living there. Slowly over time, he adapted to his new situation. Um, he began to grow cultural crops like taro, and he looked for mangrove shoots and uh, took advantage of the areas where were good for fishing and crabbing. And that was very uh, good for in his situation, helped him to survive. After some time, he settled and he met and married uh, Joyce Fernanda, and they had a family, but Joyce passed away and he married, uh, remarried Emma Fakwandi. And overall, he spoke in Pidgin English and he told his children not to speak Pidgin or speak the language that he'd grown up on. He never taught them, but he said, you're in a new culture, a new environment. You've got to forget that. You have to learn English. You've got to go to school and learn to live in the Australian society. We became a culture uh, culturally illiterate, uh, except for the foods. Uh, in other words, we, uh, we lost most of our culture, the language, uh, the traditional uh, dance and songs, uh, and we had to learn the new culture. And do. My parents had 13 children, and from that 13 came over 200 descendants. And so, uh, we as a family had learnt early on from my father that we were to stick together and support one another. And uh, we are settled now. One of the positive things is that we are settled now and my grandchildren are able to become prosperous in a modern Australia.